More astounding news tonight about the fraud going on at California EDD. More people are coming forward tonight with piles of fraudulent EDD letters. Yeah, and now two people are accused of using dozens of benefit debit cards to get thousands of dollars from ATMs. KCALMINE's Leslie Marin has more. Tonight, we're learning that EDD will undergo an audit. This after a group of bipartisan lawmakers pushed for this as they were getting more and more reports of potential fraud. From Riverside to West LA, more and more reports of stacks of letters from the EDD ending up in random mailboxes. Daniel Frankel received 100 letters in just one week. Debit cards and notifications from unemployment sent to dozens of individuals. And tonight, firefighter Grant Jaramillo sent us this photo of letters he got. He's in Lancaster. After numerous of unsuccessful attempts to contact EDD, he ended up sending the letters back. But Mike Flynn in Wilshire Park still has his 40 letters meant for 40 different people. It's a concern on every level how 40 people could ascertain this particular address, and it reeks for everything for fraud. All three men had recently listed their homes for sale, and neither had claims with EDD. So what went wrong? Tonight, for the first time, EDD has confirmed it believes it is dealing with widespread fraud, admitting many of the fraudulent letters contain benefit cards loaded with cash. How does this happen? And tonight, we're learning about the arrest of these two brothers. Detectives in Thousand Oaks say the men stole dozens of identities, received fraudulent benefit cards, and used them to withdraw $164,000 from ATMs. See it uh, be abused at this very harrowing time is really kind of tragic. EDD says if you do get a letter, send it back to them and also go on their website. They have a fraud reporting form that you can fill out. Reporting in Studio City, Leslie Marine, KCAL 9 News.